My mind is so full of thoughts and memories as I sit in my wheelchair, about to write the story of my life. A life that has been so wonderful, so eventful, so exciting. A life that was almost taken away from me one winter's night in 1958. Now, as I look back on my years in baseball, I realize how important they were in preparing me for the greatest test of my life. And a bad season. Mr. O'Malley, you gotta have a bad season to make a good comeback. Well, those hands can't take too much surgery. Uh, they don't bother me none. Uh, well, they bother me. And I imagine they bother Ruthie. Look, you talk to her. You got your home here, you got your store, your kids are going to a good school. Now you talk to her. Uh, we don't seem to be doing much talking these days, you know. At least not to each other. I'm sorry. Comes at a bad time all around. With Los Angeles? Well, we can't survive here, Roy. Not anymore. The Dodgers have got to move. Yeah, but Los Angeles. Do you think about it? Well, we still want you with us, but it's got to be what you want to do. What I want to do. Gee, Mr. O'Malley, one way or another, I got to stay in baseball. I Oh, you may as well bury me. Well, after nine years with the club, I didn't want you to read about it in the papers. I wanted you to hear it from me. I appreciate that.
you think about it. Hiya, Cap. Hiya, Tommy. Pretty late. Oh, yeah. It's right there. Thank you. Take it easy. It looks like rain. Yeah? I'd sure like to be somewhere where it's dry right now. Like California. What? It's dry in California. Thanks, Cappy. Thank you. Camp of Southern California, and that's the biggest... California. California. Yes. Mrs. Campanella? Yes. Uh, there's been an accident. One, we're trying to pry him loose. All right, fellas, get stretched. 
Fletcher over here, huh? May I help you? I'm Mrs. Campanella. Oh, yes, he's on his way. He'll be here in just a minute or two. Is There's nothing I can tell you, but the chief of neurosurgery has been alerted and, and the whole staff is at his disposal. Why don't you go sit over there? Roy! We have to take him down Roy. to the x-ray, ma'am. The doctor will be down as soon as possible. He has a fracture of the vertebrae, five and six. He's paralyzed from just below the shoulders. We'll have to operate immediately and release the pressure on his spinal cord. We need your permission. Oh. Oh. if you don't give me that ball. They comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Half-breed. What did you say? Half-breed. Bro! Did you have to fight with him right then and there? In the church, boy? In the church? It ain't the first time he said it. Oh, look, I don't care what... I care. He's been saying it every time and worse. Worse? What do you mean, worse? Hey, Roy, your mama asked you a question. What do you mean, worse? Can't you tell me, Roy? He's been saying 
he's been saying? He said he was a white man, Papa. Well, I am. Kidding me. What do you mean I'm kidding? Why else do you think they call you that name? Don't you know what a half-breed is? No. Well, what do you hit him for then? The way he said it, I knew it was nothing good. Roy, didn't you know your father was white? He ain't. Come here. Hand did you hit him with? Mama's poultice will fix that. Mama's poultice can fix anything, ain't that right? That's right, Mama. Papa? I'm listening. What is I have Well, that's a nasty way of saying you got a couple of colors mixed. Why didn't you tell me? Well, never came up, I guess. Nobody thought nothing about it around here. Your sisters and your brother never bothered them, so. Do they know? Well, of course they know. It's nothing they can hide. And you being the baby, well, I guess you just never matched it. But it don't really make no difference. Huh, Roy? I'm still your papa, ain't I? Same papa. Goes to work. Sends you to school. Helps your mama out. Does everything a papa should do. Ain't that right? Well, then it don't make no difference. Not at all. Papa? Huh? You said you was Italian. That's tomorrow's lesson. Is that bad, Mama? Being half white? It's no worse and no better than being half black. <laughs> it only means that you have two worlds in your son. And what you make of them is up to you. But there's two things I want you to always remember. Mama's poultice is one. And the 23rd Psalm. It'll take the stain out of anything. It is a matter of that. Why don't you try them together right now? Hmm? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Well, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah.
Yes, we're both on liquid diets. Huh, Ruthie? What'd you say? What time did you start today? Oh, come on now. I just had one. One? This particular never was your best subject, was it? Oh, all right, two then. But they were little, real little. Roy, don't make out like I'm a drinker. Hello? Well, we're leaving in a few minutes. Oh, David. Can he be at Rusk Institute when you get there? No. Will you talk to him? No. He's real anxious. No! I guess not, David. No, not right now. I don't know when, honey. Well, I, I, I have to pack now. Can't talk to him. Not yet. I don't want him to see me. Here's quite a place, Roy. What? Rusk Institute. Quite a place. They they do great things with with quadriplegics. Campanella, I'm Dr. Rusk. Good morning. Uh, you're the new doctor at this place, sir. The what? You, you're the one that gives the pep talks. Tell you how great it is to be a vegetable. You're in the wrong garden, mister. We don't raise vegetables here, strictly beef. With a little luck and cooperation, we get them back on the hoof. Ra, ra, ra. The longer a quadriplegic remains without movement, the longer the recovery. We're going to try and get you into a wheelchair as quickly as possible. I suggest don't that you... Don't suggest nothing. Just do me one big favor, Doc, and don't suggest anything. Just let me be. Leave me alone. Sure. Don't press him for a day or two, but just for a day or two. After that, no VIP treatment. Yes, sir. Hi. Hi. I'm Sam Brockington, a new attendant. 
In case you don't know what an attendant does, well, I'm the guy that wakes you up to give you a sleeping pill, spills coffee on you while I'm feeding you, breaks the air condition in the summertime, things like that, you know. Huh. No comment, huh? Well, somebody must have told you I was a Yankee fan. Huh? Well, I'll, I'll be right outside in case you need anything. Many messages for you. Mr. O'Malley, Ricky, DeRosia. No visitors. Can I get you something, Roy? What can I do for you? I'm dead from the neck down, Ricky. Come on. What can you do for a man that's dead from the neck down? Just go home. Get some rest. 
And tomorrow morning, first thing, we're going to take ourselves a little trip. Vocabulary, friend. All I ever hear since you got in here is put me back. Well, we're gonna put you back, but not for a little while yet. George. Here's where you do your exercises. Improve your circulation, strengthen your muscles. Hydrotherapy. This is for stretching and just feeling good. It's also good for circulation and relieving tension. This is occupational therapy. Quads and parrots work here in clay, painting, leather work. You name it, they do it. We got a rule here. I'm stuck in the closet with the rates. Even the kids gotta follow it. It says in this hotel, the patient works. He's not worked on. Hmm? Hey. Look at those kids. Well, those kids ain't just playing to learn how to live again. It's like all the others you should have seen. Oh, but you didn't see him, Campanella. I saw what was wrong with him. You looked at the wrong place, Campanella. You gotta look at the face of You better stop lying there and wanting to die, because you're going to live. That's a report from the doctors. You are going to live. You may not want to, but there's nothing you can do about it. So before you leave here, you better learn how to swat your own flies. Yes? Can you see Mrs. Campanella now? Oh, yes, of course. Come in, Mrs. Campanella. Sit down. Wouldn't you like to sit down? I'm not sure yet. I'm sure. He... He's just going through the motions, you know, Roy. He's just going through the motions. Tell me something, will you, Doctor? I'll try. What is he now? I mean, now that he can't even catch a ball, what is he? What was he before? He was a man. Walked. Earned money. Ran with his kids, slept with his wife. That's not what he was, Mrs. Campanella. That's what he did. Well, he can do it now, so what is he? 
He's what he was before, but in a wheelchair. You ever tried sleeping too in a wheelchair? When your husband was admitted to this hospital, you all became my patients. What happened to him happened to the entire family. But you're not helping him, Mrs. Campanella. You're not helping yourself. You're making my job more difficult. Well, I've... I'll do anything. How? Just, just tell me how. You can't walk away from the situation. What happened is a fact. You've got to accept it. Accept him the way he is, if he's to accept himself. Really, huh? And who's going to accept me the way I am? I'm all in one piece, you know. And I feel a lot more than he does. Did he tell you there was trouble with us before he got hurt? No. Well, there was. Base... Ball players... Ball players' wives are alone a lot, you know. We read about our husbands in the newspapers. They're always off somewhere. Banquets and ceremonies. And... Well, I'm a woman who needs a man. I'm not much of a long-distance wife. And he's no lily pad, either. Whatever we had once, we, we lost. Tell me straight. Will he ever walk again? No. But there's a good chance he'll smile again. That's something to look forward to, isn't it? I'll try. Now, you're going to get dizzy, understand? So don't worry when it happens. You've been lying flat for a long time. So... Yeah? Yeah. Just a minute. The son wants to talk to you. No. Just tell him I can't. Sure you can. Hello, David. Maybe soon. No, I can't. Not yet. David, where's your mother? No, she's not here. No, she's not here. She hasn't been here for two days. Hello, Dave. Hello? Okay. Now, I'm going to raise you a little bit more and a little bit more each day until you can start exercising. Check. All right. Step it up. Again. Again. Up. Up. All right. Again. Up. Up. Come on. Up, can't be. Up. Up. Take a deep breath. Those shoulder muscles are good, Campy. Now use it. All right, again. Up. Up. Come on, Campy. Up. No rest in now. Come on. Up. Good. All right, again. Up. Lift it up. Come on. Try it. You can do better than that. Come on. Up. That's it. Now get a good hold. Put the other one up in. You want to get into a wheelchair? Now lift yourself. Come on. All right, now suck in your air and lift. Come on, up. Pull yourself up. Up. Suck in the air. Up. Up. You want to get in that wheelchair. Again. Damn it, I can't. If you can lift yourself up, you can sit in that wheelchair. If you can sit in that wheelchair, you can move around. If you can move around, you can get out of this room. Now go on. Try it again. Lift yourself up. Come on. Up. Up, can't be. Suck in that wind. Up. Up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, that wasn't so bad. You go to hell. <laughs> Best ball! Go away, Go away, Hey, Bess, help! Help me, Bluey! Hey, Bess, help! Hey, Bess, help! Bess, help! Hey, 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 Bess, help! Hey,
If you can lift this spoon to your mouth. Here, try it. All right, now you don't have to worry about turning the spoon. It'll swivel right into position. Now try it again. All right, up, Campy. Up, come on. Up. You better be happy you're a baseball star. I usually start out with hot soup. Come on, again. Not in the nose, in the mouth. Oh, come on, you can do it. Take it easy, take it easy now. Concentrate. Easy, easy. Hey, 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 the soup is on. <laughs> I tell you, there's nothing to worry about. If you louse it up, who cares? Nobody's watching. I want to eat in the room. Ah, no way. Listen, Camp, you can eat with the best of them once you got that cuff on. Sam? Ah, I'm telling you that nobody will pay any attention. Now, if you want to talk, they'll talk. If you want help, they'll help. And it's up to you. Come on. This they got, okay?
I'm not going back there. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. I'm not going back there. Then sit here. Sleep here, easy, all by yourself, by yourself. I will. I will. I'm not going to look at those lousy cripples. Think I'm going to look at those lousy cripples the way you look at me? Oh, my God, Roy, I don't mean to. I swear I don't mean to. Oh, yeah, they keep telling me you can do everything with a with a uh, special gizmo. You, you can type with a special gizmo. You can eat with a special gizmo. But what the hell do you do if there's nobody there to put the damn thing on? I'll do it for you. I told you I'll do it for you, Roy. Here I am, Ruthie. Where do we dump the lump? And don't go nowhere because you've got to do for me. It wasn't good with us before. And now you've got to do for me. How do you think I feel? No, you gotta do for me that wasn't good before. Don't you think I know how you feel? That's right. Go grab yourself another drink. Forget what I look like if you grab yourself another drink. What you doing up? should be asleep by now. And right to sleep you hear no talking. You do your homework? Yeah. Yes, what? Yes, mother. Well, how is he? Oh, fine, come on. Fine, really, just fine. Will you see me? got to make snap decisions. And not just some of the time, but all of the time. <laughs> He's got to take charge. Now, you show me a meat catcher, and I'll show you a nothing catcher. Hey. You haven't heard a word I said, have you? Yeah, I've heard. You're missing an awful lot, David. There's no greater feeling than throwing a ball. 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 Hey, Dave, want to ride? Oh, yeah, man. Come on. Where are we going? To the drugstore, man. This late drugstore's closed.
identified as David Campanella, son of Roy Campanella, former Dodger catcher, now recuperating from his automobile accident, which left him a quadriplegic. The boy was taken to Shelter House, where he spent the night. This morning, he was released in the custody of his mother, who posted $3,500 bail. Young David appears for a hearing in youth court in Jamaica tomorrow. Turning to sports, only two games him. were played in the majors yesterday. In the American League, the Yankees blanked the Boston Red Sox 7 to nothing. while over in the National League, the Dodgers trimmed the Cincinnati Reds 4 to 1. You don't have to look at me if you don't want to. I don't mind. You don't have to look at me if you don't want to. The radio said you got into some kind of trouble, is that right? Right. What happened? I went for a ride. With who? Guys, some guys. Keep going. Do I have to ask you each thing separate? Just keep going. We went down to the drugstore. And? They dared me to break the window, so I did. Just because they dared you? Yeah, I guess. They said you took things. Did they? You took things. Cigarettes. I don't smoke. Did they take things? Who? Did they take things? Yeah, I guess they did. And you broke the window. Yeah, I guess I did. But you want to know something? I'm glad I did it. Because it got me here to see you, even if you didn't want to see me. David. Oh, now I know why. I know why you wouldn't see me. Because you quit. Just look at you sitting there, starting the same old crap about what it means to be a man. And you quit. Who are you to tell me what to do? What do you know about being a man? Get out of here. Half-breed? You're half-white and you're half-man. I might not be what you want me to be, but you're not anything I want you to be. Not anymore. If I could just move... Oh, big athlete. Big, dumb athlete. Where's all that garbage about courage off the field? Courage? You quit. You quit with me, and you quit with her. I got nobody at home. Nobody. And you're sitting there ready to give me lectures on being a man. And you quit. You quit on yourself, and you quit on all of us. You quit. You quit. You quit. You quit. <laughs> cry. Go ahead, cry. Uh, 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 Go ahead and cry. Cry loud. You got something to cry about. When you coming home, I don't care about nothing except when you're coming home. <laughs> soon. Real soon. I'm sorry for being away so long. Damn thing about self-pity is it just takes up so much of your time. <laughs> You gotta forgive me, David. A long time ago, I should have put my arms around you. And now that I want to, I can't lift him to do it.
Ed, tell Walt I said so. Man, I don't care. I've been watching him go hitless for a whole week because he's off his stride. Just tell him to move his foot back six inches, his right foot back six inches, and he'll be hitting again. Are you still on the phone? What? How's Zachy? <laughs> Man, he didn't say that. Zachy don't use that kind of language. That's you and your dirty mouth. Can't be. <laughs> Just tell him to move his foot back six inches. That's hey. Later. Jiminy Christmas, man. Goodbye. Had to give a fella a chance to say goodbye or nothing. You've got a visitor. Who? Mr. O'Malley. Okay. Mr. O'Malley. Say. <laughs> hey, you look fine. Well, hell, I look a lot better if the team would get going. Well, they're not going anywhere this season, Campy. Nope. Milwaukee's a cinch. Well, you never can tell. Mr. O'Malley, I understand the paychecks are coming in regular. Yeah. And I understand you've been spending them all on phone calls. <laughs> well, I noticed little things, you know. Like that Rose Barrel. He's a good young catcher, but he's doing the same things wrong. I not get this peg off fast enough to second. And he's wasting time shifting his feet, you know? I'll tell him. Will you? Will you? How's David? Oh, good. He's on probation, but he's good. Ruthie? Fine. It's fine. Hey, they look like they've been working you hard. Oh, man, them exercises. <laughs> Spring training never was this hard. You know, I don't think I can agree with that statement. You never could lose that middle. <laughs> Campy, when are you getting out of this place? Oh, uh, a few months, I guess. <laughs> well, that's good, because I'm getting kind of tired of sending you those checks for nothing. I think the least that you can do is come down to spring training next season and earn your money. We need a coach. We need somebody that can work with those young catchers. Now, what about it? Well, gee, I, I, I don't know if I'll be ready yet. You've got seven months. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with your mouth. You can talk, can't you? As long as you can talk, you can teach. Get off your butt, Campanella. I expect to see you down in Vero Beach, you understand? Oh, and, uh, by the way, don't come into camp all the way. Before the choir closes our services this evening, I want to remind you that there'll be a movie in the auditorium at 8 o'clock starring Marilyn Monroe. Amen. Yeah. 
Okay, move it. Uh-huh. Uh. Can't sleep with your wife until you can get into bed. Uh. Uh. Safe! <laughs> <laughs> Time to go home. Man, I wish I could get on the scale in front of the team now. They wouldn't believe it. Look at this, man. You put some on as soon as you get home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you say goodbye to everybody? I think so. That many people out there? More than you can count. Yeah? Not only reporters, but photographers. Radio, TV, newsreel, magazines. You're kidding me. You don't think they forgot about you, do you? How do I look? Fine. Okay, Tenet, let's move out. All set. Uh, I'll go electric. A a and uh, don't stand behind me. Uh, walk to the side. I don't want people to think you're pushing me when you ain't. Right. Don't forget, now take it slow. All right. Mm -hmm. How you feeling, Campy? Fine. Just fine. I can hardly wait to get home and sleep in my own bed. Is it true O'Malley's offered you a coaching job? Yeah. That's Taking it? Of course he is. Sure. I've been thinking about it. What do you got to think about? Well, I have some things to work out at home, and uh, you can't do that when you're away, so... Well, what do you expect from here, Campy? What? I said, uh, what can you expect from here? You mean we'll ever walk again? Well, you're never gonna tell about those things. Um, I think we ought to start thinking about leaving, can't be the car is out front. Sam's driving me. He's, uh, he'll be with me until I don't need him anymore. Sam's been my attendant these months. You know, in case you guys are wondering what an attendant does, he's... He's a guy that, uh... He's a guy that... That wakes you up to take a sleeping pill and, uh, spills coffee all over me and turns the air conditioning off when during summer time. Things like that. It's time to go. Don't touch that chair. Don't touch that chair. I didn't do so good back there, Sam. Well, you did fine. I still feel funny about people looking at me. And with all the other guys, it's all right, because we're in the same boat, you know. I know. It'll take time. I'm even nervous about seeing Ruth. Stop thinking about it. Hey, Lisey. She ain't come to see me in three months, Sam. It'll be okay. Yeah. Said Rusfell. He sure runs a first-class hotel, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gee. I, I, I never thought I'd be going home. Or any place else, for that matter. 
Well, now, you had something to do about that, you know. Yeah, I suppose I did. <laughs> Sometimes it got pretty rough, too. Three months. That's a long time, Sam. Well, I guess you figured if she didn't come to you, you'd have to get yourself in shape to get to her. A little psychology, you know? Yeah, well... I guess. Feel okay? What? I ask you how you feel. That's the fourth time you've asked me how I felt in the last half hour. I'm not sick, Ruthie. I'm just paralyzed, that's all. Welcome. Anything else? No. Thanks. Welcome. Need any help? No. But thanks. Welcome.
It's good. Mm. Roy? Yeah? We going tonight? Going? The shores, remember? Oh. Yeah, I, I just don't... They ask us, Roy. It's a party, you know, and they ask us. Yes, I know, but I don't... It'll do you good to... Do you good to, to get out a little. I will, Ruthie. I just feel a little tired, that's all. You just can't sit there for the rest of your life. Are we talking about me or you? You go, Ruthie. What'd you say? The party. You go. Alone? Alone. Do you won't mind? I'm sure. I won't mind. No, a blind date shouldn't question anything, but you do this whenever you come to New York? Yeah. I told you I'd take you out on a million dollar boat, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> All right, then. And relax and enjoy it. Hey, try a little mustard on there. No, I like it fine. Oh, the way mustard it is. never hurt nobody there. Say, you're a baseball player, honest and true. A <laughs> first rate catcher, Baltimore elites. Baltimore what? Elites. That's the, uh, the Negro League. Thank you. I never knew they had anything like that. <laughs> First grade and catcher, man. <sighs> what do you do for a living? I just told you. For a living? <laughs> I make $3,000 a year. And when I make the big leagues, man... You gotta be white. Well, then half of me will play, but I'm gonna make it. That's what you like to do, play games, huh? That's it. Why? Well, in a game, well, it takes skill, and, and there's two things you gotta do. What? You gotta play it like a man and enjoy it like a boy. <laughs> Come on, I teach you how to shoot a little pool. Roy, I, I... <laughs> Don't worry, man. There's one thing I got. It's patience. You play basketball? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! A seven out of ten. I win. Uh, how about a game of darts? I win. Inviting me? I'll pay for the whole trip. Will you now? <laughs> the whole trip. Hotel and all? Well, uh, actually, I have this place, and actually, it's, it's big enough for both of us. I beat you at every game we played. What makes you think you'll win this one? No go, huh? Not with your rules. Man, what you want? Same thing you do. Yeah? And uh, if your room is big enough for a man and his woman, 
It'll be big enough for a man and his wife. Wife? Wife. You know what I like about you? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what else I like about you? You played like a man, enjoyed like a boy, and, and you're a girl. Then do me a favor. Stop calling me man. <laughs> What are you doing up so late? How'd you know? You're breathing. I know every breath you kids take, you know, the sound when you're asleep. Do you? Oh, yeah. What you doing up so late? Practicing. What? Staring. Doing pretty good in that thing. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Not home yet? Hmm? I said... It's a party. You know, your mother loves parties. Hey, the team's doing great in exhibition. Except for old Roseboro. Say she's home. It ain't too late either. Listen, you get some sleep now. Good night. Sleep, that's all. <laughs> Too bad. You should have come with me. Well, you told me to go. Yeah. <laughs> Why? See if I would? I knew you would, Ruthie. <laughs> yeah. Um, need any help? No, thanks. You're welcome. Anything you want. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Please stop thanking me. I mean, just stop thanking me. I'm sorry. And stop apologizing. I'm just trying to... Well, stop it! 
Whatever it is, you're trying to stop it! What the hell do you think you're doing? I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Huh? Shouldn't have that last drink. You shouldn't have had the first one. No, no temperance talk, Roy. We're long past that, ain't we, Ruthie? I can't help it. I can't help anything I do. I, I feel like I feel so like I'm in prison. I, in prison. Look at me, Ruthie. I want you to look at me now. I've gotten kind of used to sitting, but I don't think I'll ever get used to waiting. And that's what I wind up doing, sitting and waiting for you to come home. Roy. Ruthie. I'm not about to ask you to stop flying. And I don't want you to ask me to start waiting. We got to get away from each other. We each got to do what we got to do, but we have got to get away from each other. I'm going back to the Dodgers, Ruthie. And when I get back, we'll see what happens. Nobody gave you the day off. Get back to work. picture a target. That's it, that's it. <laughs> you see that? You see what you just did? You lunged at the ball. That's why you're topping the ball. Still lunging. That's too late, man. You gotta start sooner. All right, Ronnie, let's go. Hook left. Let's go, let's go. And you can't imagine, Dr. Russ, what the club and these guys have done for me. They made the infirmary our room, you know, Sam and me. So we got a lot of space for the wheelchairs and special equipment and things like that. <laughs> it was like coming home, if you know what I mean. You know, like, like rolling over the grass to the batting cage, and seeing and hearing and smelling the things I miss so long. It all came back to me, one big whip. Ball smacking in the glove and the back cracking against the ball. <laughs> it's something I, I can't tell you how much it means to me.
You had what's known as autonomic dysreflexia. What? Simple bladder retention. Shot the blood pressure up and caused convulsive seizure. And that's not serious? In itself, no. In your case, it went away without treatment. But what if it hadn't? Well, it's been known to cause a stroke. So you're telling me I was lucky? Yes. They didn't know what it was down there. We see it every day, so it didn't confuse us. Will it happen again? Might. We'll instruct the team physician. There's no reason you can't go back to the ball club in a day or two. See you later. Hey, 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 man. <laughs> go back in a couple of days. I'm not going back to the team, Sam. Well, why not? They're spending a lot of time learning all the things a guy like me can do. I just came to the end of that lesson. There's some things I can't do. Just like everybody else? Just like everybody else. When the team gets back on the road, they're gonna mean more to me than I will to them. There's a little piece of me saying that ain't good. The important thing is, I ain't worried about being useless. Sam, don't, don't worry. I, I want to make it to something else. <laughs> I know that. Hey, I ain't, I ain't worried. Now. Kids. Excited. Roy Campanella and I at the Coliseum. That's all they talk about. Bet they'd rather go to Disneyland. Uh, uh, we'll have to take two cars, Roy. Uh, what with the luggage and the kids, there's just no room. I'll go to the airport with Sam. Did you see the papers? The Coliseum's a sellout, over 90,000. Yeah, big night. Well, I'll go on ahead. I, I'll get the bags checked in. Ruthie. Ruthie? I've been doing a lot of thinking. When I get back from California, I'm going to get an apartment near the liquor store. We'll work something out for the kids. Okay. And you'll be free. You'll be... I'll be fine. Thanks. Sure. 
glad it ain't me going out there. I'd never make it. I'm not sure I will. It's crazy, Sam. What is it? I just realized something. And I, I don't know anything about you. I mean, you, you know every muscle in my body, but I don't know anything about you. I mean, if you, if you got a family or, or nothing. That's crazy. Yeah. How do guys like you get to be guys like you? Well, now, somebody's got to take care of guys like you. Lifting me, dressing me, cleaning me. It's... I don't know anything about you. Why do you do it, Sam? I mean, do you really get anything out of this? How do you feel when you hit a home run, man? Well, I hit one with you. You ain't laying in the bed wanting to die no more. A hell of a man, Sam. Hey, Cappy, it's time. Hey, Cap. Yeah. Don't you forget, man. You take it slow. Ladies and gentlemen, Roy Campanella. I want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. This is something I'll remember for the rest of my life. It's a great tribute. And I just thank God that I'm alive to see it.
some sometimes I It was a very special moment for me that, that night in the Coliseum. But the most important moment in my life came a year later, when I first met and fell in love with my wife, Roxy. And through the years since that night, she has stood by my side as wife and friend. Roxy, more than anyone else, has made me realize that it's, it's good to be alive. 